Well, welcome once again, loyal listeners, to another edition of Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. <laughs> Dramatic pause. You, you, uh, you weren't sure there for a second. <laughs> I was sure, but I was just doing that for effect. And we are the co-founders of AboutBeverages.com, your interactive beverage community and source for the sharing of beverage news, knowledge, and, of course, the beverages themselves. And uh, you can also find us not only on our blog, you can also find us on Twitter. And you can also find us on our fan page on Facebook, which is coincidentally called About Beverages. That works out I'm well. I'm still amazed by that. Every time we say it, it's still <laughs> great. That makes sense. Uh, right. So what are we giving a shot to today? Uh, looks like today we have, well, we're, gonna, we're, we're looking for a little redemption here. And uh, we've gone back to the, to the Rogue Well, and we are trying their Mocha Porter. Yeah, I saw this uh, last week when I was actually buying the other one at the same time, and I have not had a lot of their beers, but this one just sounded sounded really good. So uh, we're going to give it a shot and find out. So what uh, when we uh, first look at this in the glass, what kind of what do you see for color? It's just uh, brown. Yes, that is uh, and not a see through brown. That's kind it? of like a deeper brown color. I mean, it's getting toward the black. So uh, not a lot of carbonation. Pretty uh, the carbonation thinned out pretty quickly once I poured it into the glass. Right. What uh, what are you getting from the aroma? Anything uh, anything exciting? Anything? Uh, are you getting mocha? Are you getting porter? Are you getting? Uh... Well, now mocha in this genre, I guess we're looking for coffee, right? As opposed to mocha chocolate, because mocha can mean chocolate. Or are we looking for mocha? I guess to me, when I think mocha, I think actually kind of a, a balanced blend of kind of like a bittersweet chocolate and a coffee. Okay. Aroma. So uh, I don't get any of that. I'm not getting. Not I'm, yet. I'm getting a little. Like a little bittersweet chocolate at the end, because that that kind of high sweet note at the yeah, end. Yeah, there's sort of a very light, um, a roasted note of some kind, something at the back. There's end a little. There. There's actually kind of a, a nut brown. Yeah. Kind of aroma to this. Yeah, that could be. Well, should we go for the drinking part? Let's let's do that. Let's do the drinking. Aha! I got a little chocolate there. Burst right at the end, like Tootsie Roll chocolate. Yeah, for me. Yeah, there is just a little uh, pop of that right at the end. I am definitely uh, smoke hits me first. You get that? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, there is a little bit that seems to hit me first. It uh, sour, very sour, mm -hmm. very kind of, kind of the heavier what you'd expect from a porter though. That kind of heavier sour middle of the tongue toward the back of the throat. Right. I. You know what? I'm not really getting the smoky. Maybe somewhere in there. That's just not. I, I. But I really. Yeah. I get the sour, and then right at the very end, you do get that. Like I said, the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop. It's a Tootsie Roll pop. How many get sips did it take roll. you to get to the Tootsie Roll center <laughs> of this porter? Just one. <laughs> that's true. But, yeah. Not. Uh, not an no, overwhelming that's... amount of of smoke. Like I said, the more, and that was my first sip. So you can't always go by your first sip. No, so that's what but, we say. Never go by the first sip. That's right. The more I drink, I'm getting a little bit less of that. But there's still kind of a something in there. That kind of a. It's almost kind of a little dry pop. Maybe that's what I'm kind of. Referring yeah, that, to a smoke yeah, or... that, that could be it. Some that that sour stays with you, but I but in a porter I don't mind that. Oh I, no, that's I what I'm looking a, for. Yeah, I'm that's... looking for some heavier yeah. flavors. And definitely. So, it's funny. The other day I heard um, one of the girls I work with. She'd actually visited the Rogue Brewery, oh, and I heard cool. her mention that she had the the juniper on tap. I need to talk to her about that. I didn't follow up because I was doing something else. I just heard her conversation going over. So I'm gonna have to follow up on that with her and see if it was delicious on tap. If she if actually got the characteristics got the, we were looking for yeah. that I found in the very first beer, and yeah. then after that became very elusive. Yeah. <laughs> it's out there somewhere. If you'd like to read more about what we thought of this particular beverage, just go to our blog at aboutbeverages.com. Uh, click on the tasting notes. We'll have uh, basically what we just said, but in written form. That's right. And we'll also attach our new, our brand new rating number to it. That's right. This is the uh, first give it a shot that we'll have uh, that rating system now included. So, yeah, check that out. But, as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.